Welcome to my Canon 6D camera repair series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the circuit boards of this camera. Now, if you haven't already watched the first video that shows how to disassemble the camera to get down to this point, you can find the link to that video in the description for this video. Be sure to download Screw Layout Guide Diagram Number 2 from my website. The link to this diagram is in the description for this video. Be sure to put double-sided tape over the top of each yellow screw that's on the diagram. Then when you take a screw off the camera, put the screw head down onto the screw on the diagram where it came from. The first board that we're going to remove is the main board. That's this large one right here. Before we can do that, we're going to need to remove this plastic on here, which I believe is an anti-static plastic. There's two pieces of rubber that are over the top of it that we'll need to remove first. To remove this stuff, just lift up on one corner of it and then you can just start peeling it back. Now part of this one goes underneath this main board and you may or may not be able to pull it out. You can just lay it over the side like that and then when you get the board removed you'll be able to remove the rest of it. Before we actually remove the screws for the main board we'll go ahead and disconnect all of the flat ribbon cables that are on here first. Now there's three different styles of connector just on the main board. I'll show you how to unhook or disconnect each one. The first one that we're going to remove is this one here. This is actually for the CCD sensor. There's actually plugs on both ends. All we have to do is lift up on the corner. There's a piece of hard plastic on top. Just lift up on the corner and it'll unplug. Do that with both ends. The next type of connector is the type that has a locking bar on it. That's this black tab or bar that goes all the way across. All we need to do is put a small screwdriver underneath and lift. Once the bar is up, that means it's unlocked. The best way to remove the flat ribbon cable is to put something in the hole and pull. I use this .7 awl, but you could also use a small diameter paper clip. Just put it in there and then pull backwards. It'll come right out. Now this flat ribbon cable doesn't have a hole in it, so this one you should be able to just lift up and pull back just lightly and it'll come out. Now on this flat ribbon cable, we don't have a locking bar on this, so we don't have to unlock it. All we have to do is just pull the cable out. The last one that we need to disconnect is a small one with two wires in it. All we have to do is just pull it out. Okay, with the flat ribbon cables all disconnected, we can take the screws out now for the board. With the eight screws removed from the main board, we can go ahead and lift it off of there. 
We want to be real careful right in this area though because on the back side right here is a plug. So we want to lift on this corner because it's going to pull out a little hard. Okay, and once that is up, then you can remove the entire board. Now with the board off of there, we can go ahead and remove the rest of this anti-static foil. The next board that we're going to remove is this board. This is the power board. There's three screws holding it down. With this shield taped back out of the way now, we can go ahead and flip the camera over. And what we need to do before we take that power board off is disconnect this connector right here. So just take a small screwdriver and put it under the edge and lift. With that unhooked, we can go ahead and lift the board off of there. Now there's another set of wires and a plug on the bottom. This goes to the battery connection. You can just pull that plug out. The next board that we're going to remove is the bottom board. Now even if we wanted to work on the CCD board, we can't actually remove this board without removing the bottom one first. That's because part of the frame for the CCD circuit board is interlocked with the bottom board. Before we can remove the bottom board, there's five flat ribbon cables that we have to unhook first. Now all of these are just the compression type. That means there's no locking bar. So all we have to do is put something in the hole and pull back. Now the two remaining connectors just lift up on the edge of it and it'll pop right out. There's three screws holding the bottom board on. One right here, one here, and one right here. With the three screws out, we can just lift that board right off. Now we'll go ahead and remove the CCD board. You're going to need the screw layout guide diagram 3 to keep track of the screws. The first screws that we're going to remove are these two down here. They hold on this brass colored piece of metal that goes across the bottom. There's a small piece of tape that goes over the top or around that piece of metal. Just uh, lift up on it and then you can pull that whole piece off of there. Next we'll remove this screw right here that's holding this piece of metal on that goes over the top of this piece of plastic or anti-static. Now you can just lift a corner on this and peel it off. Now the three screws that actually hold the CCD down are Toric T6 type screws. 
Before we can remove those screws, there's something important that we have to do first. The first thing that we need to do is to mark the screw. We need to put a mark on the actual screw head itself and down on the frame below it. Now the reason for that is we need to know exactly where that screw is at so that we can get it back into the same place. The easiest way to do it is to mark it and then count the number of turns clockwise that it takes to get the screw to the bottom. Now on this one I can see it's, there's a half a turn, three quarters of a turn, and not quite one whole turn. So when I put it back on, all I have to do is screw it all the way to the bottom and then back it off, not quite a turn, until those marks line up again. And that's how I know I got the screw back in the same, same position. Be sure to write down the number of turns for each of the three screws. There's a spot on the diagram to keep track of it. Now on this screw, it was less than one turn. Okay, with each screw marked and the number of turns counted to bottom the screw out and with it written down on the diagram, I can go ahead and remove each of these screws now. Before we can lift the CCD up, you can see that there's one more piece of that plastic anti-static. You may have to lift it up if it's stuck down. Now you should be able to just lift the CCD right off of there. Now underneath the CCD, where each screw was, you can see that there's a spring. That spring, it'll come out of there. So you can just take it off and then put it, attach it right to the diagram with the screw. Okay, all of the circuit boards are removed now. And we've got the screws for the circuit boards on diagram two. And we also have the CCD removed and all of the screws for it are on diagram three. In the next video in this video series, I'll show you how to remove the mirror box and also the shutter assembly. The links to the other videos are in the description of this video.